20 scary ghost videos caught on camera. Demon. The first scary video comes from the YouTube channel Eric Gunner. Eric claims that he's been haunted by a sinister dark entity for some time and has uploaded some very, very scary footage which I've featured in previous episodes. Eric eventually made the decision not to film whatever is haunting him again, but when this creepy activity happened, he just had to catch it on video. Hola. Hola. Ya no sé si le están pegando a la puerta o, o, o al closet. Hola. Hola. Ya no sé qué le están pegando. Hola. 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 Uy. Otra vez. Hola. Es que también no quiero echar mucha luz para allá porque... Uy, quién sabe qué fue ese ruido. Eric is awoken by banging on the window, but he's not on the ground floor, so there's no way any normal human being could be outside his window. Suddenly, more banging starts. This time, it seems to now be coming from inside Eric's wardrobe. Eric is terrified, but plucks up the courage to take a look. And then this happens. Uy, si le siguen pegando. Es que si, sí, o sea, literal me da un chingo de miedo. ¿Qué pedo? Ah, ay, ¿qué pedo? Uy, uh, uh. Ah. O sea, vea, no, no, no puede pasar si nadie para allá porque está la, la tabla. Hay una tabla ahí grandota que cubre todo, o sea, no crean que nada más está puesta así, no. Cubre todo. No, no hay manera, aquí obviamente no cabe nadie. As Eric reaches for the wardrobe door, a terrifying face with long black hair peeks out from behind the wardrobe door. Eric panics and jumps back in fear, terrified by what he's just seen. He then opens the wardrobe door and finds no one inside. Eric Gunner's viewers were left horrified by this terrifying video uploaded to his YouTube account, with many saying that they were too scared to go to sleep after seeing this figure. But what do you think is going on here? Is Eric Gunner haunted by something evil or is it all just for views? You tell me. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. The Boy this next entry caught the attention of news stations across the world. Apparently, when a woman named Laura Watson was enjoying a family day out in the woods, her two children and nephew decided to climb a tree for fun. Laura thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to snap a family photo to look back on, so she grabbed her phone and took the picture. At first glance, the image seems perfectly normal, Laura's two children and nephew having fun in a tree. However, after Laura inspected the photo carefully, she realised someone else, who she didn't recognise, was also in the photo. After zooming in, we can see a creepy pale face, possibly that of a boy, peering out from behind Laura's son. Whoever, or whatever this is, even looks like it might have its hands on her son's shoulder. Apparently, many, many years ago, a young boy sadly drowned in the nearby river, and some say it might be him. Others say that it could be a demon that has attached itself to her son. Either way, Laura couldn't sleep after seeing this unknown figure so close to her son. So what do you think? Did Laura capture a ghost on camera standing behind her son? Let me know what you think. Marked. This next creepy clip was uploaded to social media by the famous Argentinian actress and singer Jimena Barón. 
Jimena was at a friend's house when their CCTV cameras captured this terrifying moment. Jimena jumps out of her seat, feeling as if something just touched her shoulder, but when she turned around, there was no one there. Jimena became so creeped out by what just happened, that she uploaded this CCTV footage to her Instagram account and asked her followers to analyse what had happened, and it didn't take long for her followers to notice something which chilled Jimena to her core. An enhanced version of the video shows a mysterious creepy hand appear on her shoulder a moment before she leaps out of her seat. The creepy hand can only be seen for a second before it disappears, never to be seen again. Some followers even say that they could see a small child's face right behind her at the same time this creepy hand appeared. So what do you think happened to Jimena Baron in this video? Did the hand of a ghost reach out and touch her shoulder as her followers claim? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Live on air. This next ghost video was captured by News Channel 13 while they were doing a segment live on air in a cemetery when viewers noticed something disturbing. And as you can see behind me here, we have a few gravestones, but what you can't see because it's dark out, and as you can see behind me here, we While the presenter is talking, a mysterious white mist appears and quickly moves behind her. Neither the presenter or the crew notice this mysterious white mist moving in the background. But is it a ghost caught on camera? Let me know down below. Did you see it? This creepy video was uploaded to the YouTube channel Love to Investigate. Kaylee and a group of explorers visit an old abandoned mental asylum and claimed they weren't trying to capture anything paranormal, but when they watched their footage back, they were shocked by what they saw. What's that? Whoa. How they like pink tiles, don't they? What's in our room? There's another room in here. I don't like looking behind shallow curtains, that just creeps me right out. The bathroom again. The... That's pretty cool, that is. Smells like an hospital in this part, definitely. While filming down the corridor, their camera catches a glimpse of a mysterious dark figure, which can be seen for a split second, standing by the door at the end of the corridor. But the question is, who is it? And then when the camera pans back to that spot, the mysterious dark figure can be seen slipping away through a solid wall. Kaylee from the channel Love to Investigate says that this is a quote, creepy ghost girl. And her viewers say that this capture is one of the most genuine pieces of footage they've ever seen. But what do you think? Did Kaylee capture a ghost on camera at this old abandoned mental asylum? You tell me. Behind you. This next ghost video comes from the Spanish ghost hunter Ricky Velasquez. Ricky ventures out to explore an abandoned and supposedly haunted village miles out in the middle of nowhere. And instead of shooting a regular video, he decides to live stream his entire exploration. And at around 58 minutes in, he captures something which terrified his viewers. Hey! Did you catch it? 
just over Ricky's shoulder, a dark shadowy figure that looks like a child can be seen walking in front of one of the abandoned buildings. Ricky realises there's something behind him, but by the time he turns around, the entity has disappeared. Ricky rushes to where the figure was seen, but he doesn't find anyone. Almost as if whatever this is, has vanished into thin air. So, did Ricky Velasquez capture a ghost on his live stream? And if not, just what on earth is a child doing all alone in this abandoned village in the middle of nowhere? Let me know your thoughts on this one. On a dark highway. This ghost video was captured on a trucker's dash cam and uploaded to YouTube by Alison Wonderland 74. Apparently, while driving down a highway north of Marietta, Georgia, a truck driver noticed someone walk out in front of his vehicle. Afraid he just hit someone, the driver pulled over, but when he checked everywhere, he found no evidence of anyone ever being there. The truck driver phoned the sheriff's department and explained what just happened, and apparently responding deputies told him that they had been called numerous times to this exact spot before by other drivers who had witnessed the same person crossing the busy highway, but when they check everywhere, no one was ever found. The truck driver decided to review his dashcam footage and was stunned by what he saw. While driving down the empty road, a mysterious bright white figure can be seen walking across the road. The white figure looks to be a woman in a long dress, and after showing the footage to the responding deputies, they confirm that previous reports match the description of the woman seen in this video. So, did this truck driver catch a ghost on camera crossing this busy highway? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. Who is that? This next terrifying clip was uploaded to the TikTok account Ashley Meredith 1529. Ashley has a baby monitor installed that sends notifications and videos straight to her phone. One night, while she was out of the house with her entire family, including her baby, she received an unexpected notification from her baby monitor. Surprised, she opened the app and was horrified by what she saw. These are the pictures I get from my babies baby monitor. Detects his face, movements, sound, everything. Uh, and send it right to my phone so I can see what's going on with him. Uh, one particular night, my husband and my kids and I were out and about, and I get a notification on my phone that there is movement in a face. Mind you, my baby is with me, and my kids are with me, and my husband is also with me. So, of course, my mind goes to, oh my gosh, there's somebody in my house. So I look at my phone and this is what I see. What? <laughs> what is that? Look at the eyes, the nose, and the face. And like, it's clearly a face, right? Like, that looks like hair. But this is clearly a face. And it's not my baby. Let's go back to reference what my baby looks like on the monitor. Clearly a baby. Right? I mean, he's sleeping, he looks at the camera. Like, it's clearly a baby. <laughs> I have no words because I have no idea what this is. And I've showed it to several of my friends and they don't know what it is either. And this is the only video I cannot play back. All the other videos of movement and motion and faces, I can play back except for this one. And it's obviously very grainy. But I'm a little freaked out by this. And it hasn't happened since. But it's been on my mind a lot lately because I don't understand how this, I mean, unless it was a glitch, which is possible, but honestly, it's a, it's a little unsettling because we just moved into this house a few months ago. So what do you guys think this is? A glitch or something else? I'm not sure. And we don't have any dolls or anything, so it can't be like anything in the crib because there's nothing. What do you guys think this is? Recorded on Ashley's baby monitor, a face that Ashley doesn't recognise can be seen. Ashley claims that at the time this face was captured, no one was in her home. What's more is that the video where this unknown face appears in seems to be corrupted and can't be played back. 
Ashley, who uploaded this video to TikTok in search of answers, says that she has no idea who this is. And TikTok viewers were horrified, but they left their suggestions in the comments. One of the top comments was by Laurie, who asks if Ashley knows the history of her house and that she should probably look into it. Another commenter says that this is the exact reason why they turn their baby's monitor off when their baby isn't in the crib, is they don't want any unexpected surprises like this. However, Wicked Lacey suggested Ashley use a couple of apps to enhance the grainy image taken by the baby monitor and Ashley made a video doing just that. Okay, sorry I haven't been on today but I did see this comment and I was gonna give that a try to see if maybe it would look more like a glitch or like maybe my baby or my three-year-old got mixed in with an image um but I'll let you guys decide what you think. Um, I even reverse imaged it on Google and I saw nothing. So hold on. This is what it looked like after I colorized it with just like the colorize app. So still the same, kind of creepy. This is what it looked like after I used the Remini app. I hope I'm saying that right. Um. A little more detail this time, like not sure what that is or that or any of that. Still a big no for me. So um, trying to debunk everything. I'll be working on it the next few days. I'm also looking up the history of the house. Yeah, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm laughing and I know like, I'm. it's a nervous laugh. It's not like I'm taking this as a joke. Like I really, I just don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. It's just weird. That's all I can say. So I'll keep looking and um, we're gonna check out the attic in a little bit. So I'll let you know. So what do you think is going on here? Did Ashley's baby monitor capture the face of a ghost or is Ashley making it all up? Let me know your thoughts on this one. Ghost caught on camera? This ghost video was captured on a CCTV camera at the Dreamwater Lounge Bar in Warrington, England and shows something rather creepy which terrified the bar's owner. First, a small orb can be seen moving back and forth at the top of the screen. Then, the screen brightens, and then out of nowhere, a mysterious transparent figure appears and moves slowly down the hallway. The uploader of this video says that this transparent figure looks to be dressed in pirate clothing, and that the owner of the bar called in paranormal investigators after seeing this footage. YouTube viewers have been left divided on this video though, with some saying it's real, and some saying it's straight up fake. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera? Is the Dreamwater Lounge bar and the uploader claim? You tell me. The Haunted Hospital the following video comes from the urban exploration channel, The Bearded Explorer, where he visits an abandoned children's hospital built in the late 1800s and has been abandoned since the 1980s. Prior to his exploration of the old hospital, Colin says that he didn't believe in ghosts or anything like that. However, what he encountered in this abandoned hospital would turn even the bravest of skeptics into believers. Oh my goodness me, this is super, super creepy. Oh, look at these old chairs. This is so creepy in here. This is so creepy. Do you know, I've been to a lot of buildings and places on my own, but this place here is giving me the chills like you wouldn't believe it. I think this, this place closed back in the 1980s. You know, it's been empty for a very, very long time. I'm actually surprised it's still here. Normally they bring these places down like... <gasps> What's that? Ooh, I'm hearing noises in there now, that wasn't nice. Sounded like footsteps, that was really creepy. That was really creepy. Oh, 
So that's me, I'll kick something. Colin starts his exploration and quickly realises almost all of the hospital equipment is still inside the abandoned building. Colin mentions how creepy the place is and then he hears what sounds like footsteps wandering around the abandoned hospital. But Colin swears that nobody else is there but him. Colin presses on with his exploration of the abandoned children's hospital. He heads upstairs but finds the floors are rotted through and far too dangerous to walk on. He continues on the ground floor to grab some b-roll footage of the old building but then things get a bit scary. Hello? While recording b-roll footage, a metal rod crashes to the floor behind him. Colin takes a look, but no one's around. He then decides to film more b-roll footage, and then the loud sounds of knocking can be heard coming from the room nearby. Colin checks out the room, but he doesn't find the source of the loud knocking. Colin then decides to set up a static camera to get some shots of himself walking down the corridor, but it didn't quite go to plan. spot it. As Colin's walking down the corridor, he hears a loud noise a few steps away. It frightens him so much, he turns and runs in the other direction. Then when he picks up his camera, it captures a dark, child-sized figure standing at the end of the corridor, watching Colin from the shadows. The child-sized apparition is only there for a second before it disappears out of sight. Understandably terrified, Colin flees the hospital in absolute fear. Colin says that the activity he witnessed inside this abandoned hospital had been playing on his mind for months. So, after a while, Colin makes the brave decision to go back on his own, this time during the pitch black. I'm here on my own, in the pitch black, and already I'm getting freaked out, and I'm not even in the building yet. I cannot believe that I'm doing this on my own at night. Oh, okay. Okay, right. Definitely not going up that way first. I'm going this way first. Oh, why am I doing this? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? I think I'm talking a lot just so I can like distract my mind because I cannot believe I'm in here on my own at night. 
Oh, this is creepy. This is definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, the creepiest thing I have ever done in my life. I don't even know if I could top this, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh my God. It is absolutely freezing in here. Oh. It is absolutely freezing. Why is it so cold? It wasn't this cold last time. Right, let's do this. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I'm sure I heard something. I don't know. It's probably just the wind. I mean, it is a little bit windy out there today, but it's not. Okay, this is the worst part for me. <sighs> Colin enters the abandoned hospital and begins to remember just how creepy the atmosphere is inside. As he's walking down the corridor where he saw the child apparition on his last visit, the sounds of a bell can be heard coming from somewhere in the darkness behind him. He spins around, but no one's there. Only something dark swinging on the ceiling further down the hallway. Colin doesn't notice it and continues on with his exploration. This time, despite the risks, he ventures upstairs. That's the staircase back downstairs again. We've got the, the second half of the upstairs bit. God, where is that breeze coming from? It must be coming from that loft space. goosebumps on my my whole body right now are just you could probably strike a match off my skin look at this little <gasps> oh, what was that what was that <sighs> oh god have this little fungus growing there on its own <laughs> It's just stuff falling from the ceiling, but it's bloody frightening the life out of me. Well, we've only got a couple more rooms up here. Look at all that insulation coming down. Yeah, any heavy rain here would obviously, you know, completely saturate the place, and this insulation does hold water like a sponge. Oh, Why is it? Look like a leg sticking out that door out there. It's not, but oh, I've just got all these ideas going through my head at the moment. Whoa. As Colin is upstairs, he hears a loud noise at the end of the hallway which stops him in his tracks. Terrified, he tries to ignore it, but then an even louder noise frightens him. Colin checks around the upstairs, but doesn't find anyone, and puts the noises down to things falling from the collapsed ceiling. But then as he approaches one of the far rooms, something knocks and Colin decides it's best to stay well away. Confused, but convinced no one is up there, Colin inspects the room where the loud sound came from and doesn't find anyone inside. Creeped out, Colin leaves that area and then this happens. Oh God, okay. Oh, I've never been so scared. I've never been so scared. I'm getting out of it. I've had enough. <gasps> weird. That was really, really weird. Oh, what is it about this place? Oh, I hate this place, I really do. Just listen. <laughs> A 
loud noise terrifies Colin. He races down the stairs and as he's deciding whether to leave or not, a red child ball rolls across the hallway right in front of him. Colin decides he's had enough and flees the hospital once more. YouTube viewers were sitting in suspense during Colin's exploration of this abandoned hospital, with many believing that all the creepy things he encountered here were 100% real paranormal activity. But what do you think? Did Colin capture real paranormal activity at this abandoned hospital? Use the comments to share your thoughts. In the window. This video comes from the ghost hunting channel Gun Billy's Paranormal. The video is titled, We went back to the scary rent house, shadow figure or person. And well, after watching the video, it could be either of these. That's a creepy little house. Look at that. Dude. Thing. Look at that. There's nothing in front of the roof about to fall off for sure. I know. Wow. That's like really fixing This new house is creepy, guys. Alright, I'm gonna. Uh, Kill my car, but I'll leave my lights on so we can do this real quick. God, I'm gonna duck under that branch, bro. As the group get out of the car, someone or something can be seen standing in the window, watching the unsuspecting group as they arrive. Gun Billy's paranormal don't notice it and continue presenting. And throughout the rest of the video, while they're investigating the house, they don't find anyone else in there. So what do you think? Is this a shadow figure or a person? As Gun Billy's paranormal asks, let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments. Be careful what you wish for. This next creepy video comes from the TikTok account Jai Misanthropic. Jai claims that he made the mistake of playing with a Ouija board and inviting demons into his space because he didn't believe in that sort of stuff. Ever since then, strange and unexplainable things have been happening in and around his house. One night, while Jai is relaxing at his home alone, he begins to hear noises coming from another part of his house. He grabs his phone and goes to take a look. Alright, so I'm sitting here playing Rocket League at the moment. Every time I'm here by myself, I swear this place is haunted. I've been f***ing around with Ouija boards and I was stupid enough to bloody invite demons to possess me and sh because I didn't believe in it. But ever since then, every time I'm here by myself, I hear sh outside. So I'm playing Rocket League. Oh, did you hear that? <gasps> oh, what the f? No f way. No f way. Hello? Is anybody here? Holy s, why is that moving? Hello? Is anybody here? Oh my god, man. What the f***? No f***. Hello? I heard you. No. No f***ing way. No f***ing way. Oh my god. Hello? And I swear I just saw a shadow moving here. So this is this f***ing light switch. Oh man, I'm absolutely f***ing myself. No. That can't be. Fuck off. Holy f. Nah, f this. I'm. Oh, no. Nah, f this. I'm out of here. Goodbye. 
A creepy growl is heard coming from another part of Jai's home. He hears it, and then the door slams shut right in front of him. Jai steps inside the corridor to investigate, and a chandelier can be seen swinging from side to side. Everything seems quiet until he hears another noise and finds the kitchen light flickering on and off. He enters the kitchen and turns the light on, but the room is empty. Then a fork falls off a plate and crashes to the floor, before the entire kitchen table moves across the room on its own. And then, to finish it off, the fork slides completely across the floor. TikTok viewers were left creeped out by this creepy video uploaded by Jai to his TikTok account, with many suggesting that Jai's home is haunted by a quote, poltergeist. However, others argue that Jai faked the whole thing for views. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. She sees you. This next scary video was uploaded to the YouTube channel Ka Records. There's very little information about the video, except that it was filmed during an exploration of an abandoned house at night, where the explorers encounter a very scary surprise. Leeft hier iemand al was goed? As the explorers turn the corner, they suddenly realise there's someone watching them from the darkness. At first, it's impossible to see just who or what is watching them, but if we slow it down, we can see what looks like a creepy little girl with glowing eyes staring eerily at the pair from the dark depths of this abandoned house. They only catch a glimpse before the person holding the camera panics and they flee the abandoned house. At first, like this commenter says, it could just be a detailed picture that they saw. But going through the frames, you can see that this creepy figure is actually moving. YouTube viewers were left terrified by this video uploaded by Car Records, with many agreeing that it's a good job they fled when they did, as who knows what could have happened if they went in further. But what do you think these explorers caught on camera at this abandoned house? Leave a comment below with what you're thinking. The Shadow this next creepy video has been shared before. It was uploaded to TikTok by user Alyssa Nash one The video is apparently real footage of a shadow figure caught walking upstairs, but I'll roll the clip and you can make up your own mind whether it's real or not. As the man walks down the stairs, a shadow figure can be seen crossing his path and appears to walk slowly up the stairs. The shadow figure then dissipates like it was never there. But is this a real shadow figure caught on camera or just a clever edit? You tell me. What was that? This creepy clip comes from the YouTube channel, exploring abandoned mines and unusual places. In this video, Frank investigates the abandoned Black Widow mine when they come across something very, very strange. Okay, I came across this here in the intersection in the mine. Tunnel going that way and that way. Tied to a beam way up there. And we just came from that way. After reaching an intersection deep in the abandoned mine, he pans down to the tunnel to the left 
and all looks clear. However, when he pans down the tunnel to the right, something can be seen quickly slipping away out of view. YouTube viewers were quick to point out this strange thing slipping away out of view, with many viewers agreeing with commenter Times Manify that it's definitely not a reflection. If you look closely, whatever it is is completely blocking the shadow of the wall from the light until it moves out of the way. Something was in the light's path and after it moves, you can see that shadow of the wall. If it had just been a reflection of the minerals, you would still see the shadow as the light was hitting it from other angles. So what do you think could be hiding down here deep in the tunnels of this abandoned mine? Was it an animal, a person or something more? Much more frightening, you tell me. The Witch this next creepy video has gone viral across Spanish speaking TikTok accounts. The creepy clip you're about to see was recorded on a dark dirt road and uploaded to TikTok by Alejandro Hernandez0124. The only information about the video is the caption, which translates to, we were on our way home and we stumbled upon this. While driving down a dark dirt road, a mysterious dark figure can be seen floating high up off the ground. The driver doesn't stop the car and instead drives straight under the floating figure. This creepy video has gone viral across the Spanish TikTok community, with many suggesting it's a quote, bruja, which translated in English means witch. Some TikTokers say that they have seen similar sightings on hillsides and agree that these sightings are brujas, or in English, witches. But what do you think? Did Alejandro catch a witch floating in the sky? Or is there a more logical explanation? You tell me. The House with the Hanging Dress This video was uploaded to YouTube by Jeff Stetics World when he went on his own to investigate an abandoned mansion that's believed to be haunted by a woman in a white dress. Legend says that a woman who lived in the mansion several years ago sadly lost her life under tragic circumstances and all that remains in the home is her dress which now hangs from one of the chandeliers. Almost as soon as Jeff enters the abandoned haunted house, he begins hearing footsteps and loud banging noises coming from the darkness. Jeff thinks someone's trying to scare him so he bravely goes to investigate. What's going on here man? Where the was that sound came from? I don't know what the hell. There's what there was a door open or not? What the hell? Oh sh! That's pretty white like, guys. That's hanging here. Hello. There's a freaky sounds here, man. I don't know if someone has seen. What the hell? I got back down with this because. Yo! Is someone here? Jeff becomes startled by a white dress hanging in one of the rooms. Then he hears what sounds like footsteps walking in a room behind him. He looks around the house but finds no one. Jeff then hears banging and decides it's probably best just to cut this part of the investigation short. However, keen to explore the rest of the mansion, Jeff chooses to carry on with the investigation, wanting to get to the bottom of the strange footsteps and banging sounds. And at 11 minutes into the video, it seems he filmed the culprit. Actually, too much happened here right now. And it's actually the first time I explored this freaking mansion alone. And what I heard and see, well, it's actually too much for me, I guess. And I thought that there were actually some people here, but I don't know, there's no one. Probably an addict, but screw it, man. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, man. Here. Oh. Oh, what the Guys, what the hell, man? Dude. Hello? 
I keep hearing freaky footsteps here on the freaky. You must squeeze Broadway now. Must Queen and Broadway are crazy. I'm out of here, man. More noises can be heard in the abandoned house and Jeff decides it's best to leave. But as he turns to leave, checking the house one more time, a dark figure quickly crosses right in front of him and Jeff doesn't notice it. More banging sounds can be heard coming from the area where the figure just walked to. Jeff approaches with caution and his camera begins to blur. Jeff then makes one final decision to leave the house for good. Jeff's viewers were on the edge of their seats during his investigation at this creepy haunted house, with many stating that when the camera blurs like it did, that it means a spirit is right there. And many say that this dark figure creeped the living daylight lights out of them. But what do you think happened here? Is this abandoned house haunted or did Jeff stage the video for views? You tell me. The Pika this creepy video comes from the ghost hunting channel, Three Spires Paranormal. The video was captured during an investigation at an old building with a long history. It was built as a Victorian workhouse before being converted into a hospital and then into an orphanage. While checking out the main entrance to the hospital section, this was captured on camera. So this will be the main entrance into the actual hospital itself. Oh, I'm gone. What we got here then? This window has been tacked on. Did you catch that? At first glance, the building seems completely quiet. But then, as the IR light from the night vision camera passes one of the windows, something dark can be seen leaning out in one of the windows. But what is it? Three Spires Paranormal's viewers say that this dark thing looks like a woman with long black hair peeking out of the window. But what do you think this is? Let me know down below. Dragged. This terrifying incident was recorded and uploaded to TikTok by Menang Mystery. As with most TikTok videos, there's hardly any information to go off. But what's clear is that the video was captured somewhere in Malaysia while a security guard was on night shift. The security guard runs out of the room and down the corridor, clearly terrified by something chasing him. The security guard doesn't make it very far before he falls forward, like he's been tripped by some invisible force. Then, terrifyingly, the security guard is dragged backwards through the door he just came through by something we can't see. He just manages to grab the door frame to try to save himself, but in moments, he's flipped over and dragged straight through the doorway. Now, I I am in no way saying that this clip is real, as it probably isn't, but nonetheless, it's still pretty darn creepy. The Figure the final ghost video has been shared before, however, I haven't seen it posted on any other channels recently. The video you're about to see was recorded by a man named Steve Ballard while he was investigating the former artillery fort, Grain Fort. Grain Fort was constructed in the 1860s to defend the confluence of the River Thames and the River Medway during a period of tension between England and France. The tunnels are said to be incredibly haunted and the cries of children and wailing women have been heard echoing out of the tunnels late at night, presumably mourning the loss of their fallen military loved ones. Steve and his group decide to investigate the tunnels alone, or so they thought. This is being played about half speed. Yeah. Now watch. Now. Shit. 
As Steve just said, did you see it? As the light hits the end of the tunnel, a dark figure appears out of nowhere and bizarrely walks straight through a solid wall. And just moments later when the light hits the same spot, there's nothing there. YouTube viewers were amazed by this capture, with many saying that this is one of the best shadow figures ever caught on camera. But what do you think? Is this really a shadow figure caught on camera or just a trick of the light? You tell me. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.